my name is Kellyn and welcome back to my channel. <laughs> So today, if you didn't already guess from the title and the thumbnail of the video, today I'm going to be doing a Spongebob window canvas. You may have already seen these because they were all over TikTok about a year ago, but my friend and Harris sent me a link to one the other day and I was like, I've just, I've just got to do it. Today is the day. I wanted to do it like a year ago, but I just never got around to doing it. I had so many like other projects going on. A few weeks ago, I actually bought a round canvas, which I've never used before. So that's what we're going to be using today. I'm also going to be using acrylic paints, which is a medium that I haven't worked with in so, so long. So I'm pretty nervous. They can be quite difficult to use if you're like out of practice. But if you have no idea what I'm talking about, I'm going to insert some pictures of some examples on the screen right now. They are so cool. If you know SpongeBob, these are like the windows that are in Spongebob's house. I'm a huge Spongebob fan and I love the style of the animation. Everything is quite blocky and super colourful. But anyway, let's just give it a go. Okie okay, okie okay, dokie. I'm very excited for this. I just love Spongebob so much. So here is my round canvas. Before we can begin, I'm just going to remove this plastic that's covering it. Get out of here. But here is the canvas in all its glory. It's actually a really nice quality one. I feel like I haven't bought a nice quality canvas in ages. So before we can begin painting, I actually went ahead and grabbed myself a mechanical pencil so so I can sketch an idea or a design or something. I really wish I could freehand, but I'm terrible at it. I need to sketch before I begin painting. <laughs> to begin my sketching process, I actually started by sketching the edge of the window or like the edge of the porthole. This step didn't take as long as I thought it would, so that's really it's good. It's basically just a smaller circle within the circle itself. Once I was done sketching the smaller circle, I actually did like a crescent on the one side. This is just going to make the window look 3D and like give it a pop. The next step was just to add a lot of little details and experiment with what design I wanted to do. I actually did a lot of this off camera because I just kept messing up and I wasn't happy with it. So once I sketched and experimented, here is what I was left with. Don't look at it, it's horrible. I'm only kidding. I just did a lot of different designs and experimented with what I wanted to do, but I wasn't really happy with anything. I decided to pretty much scrap it all. I tried rubbing bits out and starting again, but it just wasn't working. So I decided that I just needed to grab my paints and get started. So here are my acrylic paints. They're just Arteza ones. I actually used paints from two separate boxes, but I'm just showing the one to you guys. But I went ahead and gathered a ton of different colors. I'm probably just going to be working with mostly greens, blues, and maybe some other fun colors like pink. But before you can even say go, I started painting. But as you can see, I just got straight into painting a giant green blob. This green blob is actually going to be the green fields of jellyfish fields from Spongebob. So I just went ahead and painted a giant green section to begin with. I wasn't sure if it would make much sense that Spongebob could see the fields from his house. I don't know if that's geographically accurate or not, but I guess we'll just go with it. <laughs> I really wanted the grass to have like dimension, so I started by putting a base layer down and then I added darker sections and lighter sections, you know? I think this section took the longest of the whole painting. I don't really know why, but I probably should have used a bigger paint. Once I was finished painting that field, I moved on to the field on the right hand side, which is supposed to be like further in the distance. So I decided to do it a darker green, which looks really good. I love this green so much. As I was painting this one, my paintbrush, my little paintbrush decided to break. Ah! Instead of just grabbing another one, I just glued it back on and carried on. Anyway, once I was done painting that field, I moved on to paint the sky. Yay! This time I mixed a really light blue and I started to spread that all over the area that was going to be the sky. I deliberately didn't get an even colour on this because I wanted it to look like kind of realistic but you know cartoony realistic. This time I decided to put down the lighter colour first because it's so much easier to blend in the darker colours afterwards. I realised this after doing the grass. <laughs> Eventually once I was done painting the whole of the background blue I went ahead and painted like streaks of darker blues and I gradually built that up until they were darker and darker. Using water for this section was like my saving grace. I didn't use water for like the grass section to begin with and it kind of got a little bit chunky. It's all a learning curve. But anyway, once I was done painting the sky, I grabbed my Posca pens and it was finally time to start adding some cute details. I started by grabbing a purple Posca pen and I added these like, um, I don't really know what they are, like rocks in the background. Oh, they're corals. They're definitely corals. I only went ahead and added two of these, but they appear in jellyfish fields, which is something I didn't realize. I've never noticed them before, but I started by laying down the darkest color first. And then once I was done with the darkest color, I actually grabbed a light purple paint and I started to layer that on top to add some shading and texture. The aim was basically to make it look rocky and like it has crevices and stuff like that. When I started painting this, I thought I am never going to get this to look like the real thing. But actually, I'm super, super proud of how this ended up looking. It looks really good. But I started with a lightish purple and then I went lighter and lighter until I had like really highlights. 
highlighted sections over on the left hand side. Eventually I was done painting this purpley rock thing and then I moved on to add these little flowers. I think they're flowers anyway. I always remember them being in an episode where Spongebob was like watering the plants and then he found out that a seahorse was eating them. But as you can see I'm still using Posca pens to add these little flowers. I only ended up adding two but I used a white Posca pen to paint them and then I used some pink paint to add some pink spots. And now we're going to move on to add some jellyfish which I'm so excited for because the jellyfish are just so cute in Spongebob. So once again I'm using pink acrylic paints and I just started by painting like the tops of the jellyfish like their heads I, I didn't want to do too many jellyfish but I decided to like vary them a little bit some of them were bigger than others and some of their legs were like different to others their legs I suppose their tentacles but I just placed those around wherever I wanted once again I didn't use a sketch for these I just decided to freehand them which is totally unlike me I just felt that if I made a mistake acrylic paint is really good at like covering up mistakes but once I was done painting the tops of the jellyfish I went ahead and painted their little wiggly tentacles once again I just freehanded these and I made it up as I went along some of their tentacles were like hanging down and then this one that I'm painting right now or the one I was just painting I've got like the tentacles going up in the air like it's jumping or something I finished up by adding a little bit of detail to each jellyfish by giving them their little spots and a little bit of shine and eventually the jellyfish were done and I think they look so cute but I went ahead and gave them an outline off camera and normally I wouldn't use white for an outline I normally use black but in Spongebob apparently all the jellyfish have white outlines so I decided to like stick to the original I then decided to add some extra details like the flowers that they have in the sky so I used a green Posca pen for this I was gonna add a purple one too but I actually just forgot <laughs> as you can see I'm freehanding this flower once again and I'm really proud of myself because it turned out really good but now we're pretty much onto the final step which is painting the frame so I went ahead and grabbed a light blue and a dark blue acrylic paint and it was time to get started so to begin I just started by painting the whole of the frame in this medium toned blue this did take quite a while because it's quite a large area to paint but also I had to get as close as I possibly could to like the painting itself in the center without like actually painting it at this point this bit's almost complete the only thing I need to do now is add like the shading for the crescent moon so I went ahead and did that off camera and here it is I still have some cleaning up to do but I think it looks pretty good for now the next step was to do the nuts and bolts because I painted over the sketch so I decided to just freehand these using a light blue paint and a little bit later I outlined them with a darker blue to make them pop and I also add a bit of highlight to make them look a bit more 3d once I was done painting the nuts and bolts I grabbed a skinny black Posca pen and it was time to outline a bunch of stuff so I started by outlining the grass but I didn't just outline it I decided to give it a bit of texture by making it super spiky once again I just freehanded this I didn't worry too much about it I thought whatever I do it's gonna look like grass <laughs> next I outlined the nuts and bolts which took a little while because there were quite a lot of them to do and they were circular so you have to be like super careful not to make a mistake at this point I'm super happy with the painting I'm super nervous for the next bit that I have to do which is outlining like the whole circle so I started by doing this huge outlining bit just using a thicker black Posca pen and this bit did take quite a while because I wanted to be super careful and not make any wiggly lines but eventually after a lot of patience and a lot of time the painting was complete and I'm so happy with it I think it looks so so cute this rock work is definitely one of my favorite features and I love this little jellyfish what a winner I'm just so happy with it and if I could recommend anyone to do this I totally would say go for it it is so fun and the result is so worth it and here it is I am obsessed obsessed with this I think it turned out so cute it's not perfect it definitely has its flaws I got a little bit lazy around the edge of the grass here so there's a little bit of like missing paint but overall it's so cute there were so many options I didn't know really what I wanted to do I wasn't sure if I wanted to put Patrick in it or Spongebob in it but I decided to keep it kind of simple and just stick to the jellyfish theme considering I haven't worked with acrylic in so long I'm super super happy with how this worked out I completely forgot that you could use water with acrylic paint to begin with so it ended up being really thick to begin with and then I was like oh yeah I can use water and then I started to get the hang of it and it started to definitely get better as we went along but I'm super happy with it I think it's so so cute I do kind of wish I included a Spongebob character like Sandy or Patrick or Squidward maybe but I just love it anyway it's nice and simple and it looks like Spongebob's windows I didn't end up painting the edges but I kind of wish I did so I might do that off camera at some point but yeah that's pretty much it for today I hope you guys enjoyed watching the video I I really had so much fun working with acrylic paints again and working on a round canvas and doing a spongebob painting if you guys enjoyed this video make sure to let me know down in the comments below and if you have any suggestions for future videos also let me know down in the comments below because I love doing what you guys want to see but if you guys are new here and you like the video and you liked me <laughs> make sure to like and subscribe because it really helps me out and also check out all my other social media channels down in the description box below you can check out my Instagram my snapchat my Twitter my TikTok, and my twitch but thank you so so much for watching I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you all next Friday at 5. Bye!